Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, check out one of the last beers I've left from Beautique in Bamberg, Germany. So thanks a ton to Bamberg, Beautique store for the beer specifically, Enso, and also Mikkel, who helped get this one up here. Um, this is one I said for last because I thought this would be pretty interesting to try. Mainly because it's a style I love and you don't see too much. So this is from Sonnenbräu Kreativ Beer, based in, where was it? Mürsbach, and it, they talk about Franken in here, so I guess it's from Franconia, the brewery. And this is their Rauch Doppelbock Eiche. With a little fine little thing on here on the side with info. There you go. So this is a double buck, as you'd expect, but aged for nine months in oak barrels. And it's 9.6%. And I love that in this little folder here, they have all the info that it's made with uh, Beechwood Smoked Barley, Carafa 2, Munich Malt and Cara Aroma. And then they use Spal Select, Tradition, Perle, Mittelfruit and Sophia. Wow, that's a lot of hop, hops for a smoked beer and for a Doppelbock. To be honest, like multi beers, I wouldn't go that crazy with different hops you, myself. Uh, but interesting. So yeah, nine months aged in oak barrels. It, it just says oaks, oak wood barrels. So I guess it's just like virgin oak or something like that. So pours, it's almost black, look at that, in the glass. It's, well, I guess it's also a bit of the light, but when I hold it up there, it's like a really, really, really dark brown. Like really, really, really dark brown. It looks like what you expect from like your double box. Beige head, let's check out the aroma and thanks for be a take for the beer. Oh yeah, there you go. It's got the beach with smoke, but it's interesting. It has like a very dry woody character. It's almost like you mix, it's almost like a wooden log that's not completely burnt. It's like smell of fresh wood and burnt wood. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, totally. <laughs> fresh wood, burnt wood. Salami, definitely got some chocolatey vibes, probably from the carafa and roasted malt from that too. Like charry, roasty. Quite different from your average uh, average double buck. Yeah, very woodsy as well. It's got a little bit of that kind of hammy, bacony aroma. To be 100% honest, I don't know how keen I am on that very like dry, woody character. I think it's gonna be like super dry in terms of wood flavor. We'll see, let's check it out. Cheers, and thanks for your take for the beer. Okay, actually not. Much less dry than I expected. And actually the oak barrel is more pronounced on the aroma than on the flavor. Hmm. I didn't expect that at all. Okay, there it comes through more. It's like an interesting combination of like dry woody flavor and then like smoke. And this, I don't think the smoke is like crazy. I still think like Schlinkerla is like Urbock and Eiche are more intense than this. But there's definitely that like bacony, ham-like smokiness too. Like the, the meaty smoke, the campfire smokiness is there too. And again, it resonates with me. This kind of like, not really burnt wood, like, like wet wood. Wet wood, like oak that's been burnt partially. It's super weird. Wet burnt wood, <laughs> if you can say that. Touch of alcohol to it, just a little bit. It has a little bit of a red apple type thing going on too. A bit of aldehyde, caramel, toffee notes. The chocolatey thing is not too much there. It just comes out more as a kind of roasty, burnt type flavor. Not half bad, but I will say there's other alchemies like the it's so hard to beat Schlenkerla. They've been doing it for so, Schlenkerla. They've been doing it for so many years. And I still, this doesn't top it, even though it's like oak aged. That not, doesn't always have to mean that it's like the bomb. But yeah, I, I mean, it's it's a very nice, enjoyable beer. I'm just not floored. It's it's a little bit of, like, even though I talk about, like everything seems, it's, it's like it's not as forward on the flavors, it seems, a bit like hold back, but I think it's also been aged. I think it's from 2018. Yeah. So that's two years now. Yeah, fuck, it's from January. 
Oh no, 12, so December 2018, so a year and a month. But, um, it's crazy how smoke subdues. Like, we did the vintage tasting of the Shinkalas. Smoke just goes like this. Like, it's super weird. Um, actually, the more I drink it, the more I get a just like woody oak. But it's decent. Nothing crazy. I'm going like 88. I really like Auch beers, but I'm just not really that like excited about this. It's an enjoyable beer, but I think again, I, any day I'd pick a, a, a Urbach or an Eiche over this, or even Märzen from Stinkel. I really also because Märzen has like pretty much the same level of flavor, if not a little bit more, but that's only like five percent, and this is almost ten. So, but hey, it's worth a shot for sure if you get the chance to check it out. So guys, if you had a chance to try the Sonnenbrau Rauch Doppelbach Eiche, let me know what you thought of it. Thanks a ton to Miguel and Enzo from Biotech, or specifically Biotech in Bamberg for the beer. And definitely check out the shop. If you're in Bamberg, that's a must visit shop. Enzo is a cool dude. We got to hang out last time I was down in Bamberg. It was great fun. So if you guys had it, let me know. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And for once, another 10-minute video. And see you, see, say cheers. And see you guys in another video.